Hello and welcome to Pi Education. This is Sumit Kumar Chaudhary here, and today we are going to discuss about factorization of polynomial. If you are new here, consider subscribing because we are going to release a new video every week for you. Hello and welcome to Pi Education. This is Sumit Kumar Chaube, and today we are going to discuss about factorization of a quadratic polynomial. It's very important that one must understand how to factorize a quadratic polynomial. So there are basically two methods to factorize a quadratic polynomial. The very first method is by splitting the middle term into two parts so that their multiplication is equal to the multiplication of constant term and coefficient of x square. And in the second part, we are going to discuss about another factorization method which is very useful it is called completing the square so we are going to see them both one by one so we are going to start with splitting the middle term so let's say that we have a quadratic polynomial f of x which is equal to x square minus 4x minus 5 and we have to factorize it now here the coefficient of x square is equal to 1 and this constant term is equal to minus 5 so this minus 5 is equal to minus 5 and here middle term is equal to minus 4 so we have to split middle term into two part so that their multiplication is equal to this minus 5 so we can split minus 4 into minus 2 and minus 2 but their multiplication will be equal to minus 2 times minus 2 will be equal to plus 4 which is not equal to minus 5 so we can split it in let's say minus 3 and minus 1 but their multiplication is again equal to plus 4 since it is negative we have to split it into two parts so that one part is positive another part is negative so one of the possible way of splitting it will be minus 5 and plus 1 so if we multiply these two we will get equal to minus 5 so we are going to split this minus 4 into minus 5 and plus 1 so let's do that so this will be equal to x square minus 5x plus x minus 5 and then we can take x square common from these two term and one common from this term so if we take x square co x common from this term i will get x times x minus 5 plus 1 x minus 5 and if i can take x minus 5 common from these two addition term what I will get x minus 5 and the remaining value I will get is x plus 1. So in this way we can factorize x square minus 4x minus 5 a quadratic polynomial into two factors. Now let's see the second method. So in this method we are going to complete the square. If we have to complete the square what we are going to do is that we are going to add and subtract a term here so let's write our equation this is x square minus 4x minus 5 now we are going to write a constant term here so let's add a constant term here and how we are going to add constant term that will be half of this coefficient so what is this coefficient minus 4 so we are going to add plus minus 2 whole square and minus minus 2 whole square so this is net effect is 0 here so what we got is x square minus 4x plus 2 square and minus 2 square which is equal to minus 4 and minus 5 so what i will get here is x square x minus 2 whole square and in the next term i will get 9 which will be equal to x minus 2 whole square and this can be written as 3 square so this will be equal to now this is basically a square minus b square and we already know that a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times a plus b so we can factorize it like this so the first term that i am going to get is x minus 2 minus 3 and the second term that i am going to get is x minus 2 plus 3 which will be equal to x minus 5 times x plus 1 this is the same factor that we got earlier okay so it's quite easy to do and this method is especially useful when uh, these coefficients are very large for example here uh, this coefficient was very small in this case we were easily able to find out what was this value 
but when this coefficient will be large it will be nearly impossible to find out this value okay so this is what we are going to do thank you